In Genesis 25 verse 29 to 34, we read about how Esau sold his birthright to Jacob. Now Jacob took a stew, and Esau came in from the field, and he was weary. And Esau said to Jacob, Please feed me with that same red stew, for I am weary. Therefore his name was called Edom. But Jacob said, Sell me your birthright as of this day. And Esau said, Look, I am about to die. So what is this birthright to me? Then Jacob said, Swear to me as of this day. So he swore to him and sold his birthright to Jacob. And Jacob gave Esau bread and stew of lentils. Then he ate and drank, arose, and went his way. Then Esau despised his birthright. Today, I want to discuss with you the most important lesson we must learn from this story. The birthright is the right to be recognized as the firstborn who inherits the judicial and leadership position from Isaac. In verse 34, we read, Thus Esau despised his birthright. What's super interesting in this story is that Esau sold his birthright. He didn't sell it for a hundred or thousand cattle. He didn't sell it for a huge chunk of land. He didn't sell it for something that is of equal or greater value. Notice. So he, Esau, swore to him and sold his birthright to Jacob. And Jacob gave Esau bread and stew of lentils. Then he ate and drank, arose, and went his way. As you can see, Esau sold his birthright for a bowl of soup. His reason? We read in verse 32. And Esau said, Look, I am about to die, so what is this birthright to me? Esau became nearsighted. He only thought of his present needs. Obviously, Esau, a fit and healthy man, can still survive a few hours or days. He can even be more resourceful and find a better way to feed himself. Yet, what did he do? He took the easy way, but not the right way. It only shows how Esau didn't give much importance to his birthright. How about you? Do you give God's calling in your life great importance? Are you willing to fight for your calling? Are you willing to die for it? Or are you going to easily give up and exchange it for a bowl of soup? If you are exchanging your eternal reward for a temporary reward, then you are making the biggest mistake of your life. Be sure to let no one take your crown for a bowl of soup. That's it for me. I'm Joshua Infantado Becoming Christians, praying that the Most High God, Yahweh, will lead us to all truths. See you next time.